having dwarfism doesn't define me. This is who I am. Why would it be any different just because I'm two feet shorter than you? So I love fashion because for me, fashion is inclusion. It's just cute apart from looking like I'm being drowned in a jacket. I'm not bothered by what people say about me. I'm not bothered by what people think about me. Learn to love your differences. Hi, my name is Marilyn Williams and I have dwarfism. The type is achondroplasia. Quite a mouthful. <laughs> so today we're going to go uptown. I'm going to try and find an outfit. A lot of people don't think I can drive. They're shocked when I'm like, oh yeah, I've been driving since I was like 17. That was my most important thing. I wanted to get independence. I didn't want to be reliant on anyone to take me places. I think everyone assumes that I wear kids clothes. Like that a lot of people come up to me like, oh my God, I have that dress. Like, how do you have that dress? I'm like, like it's Zara. Like it's like a size 10. It's, like, it's the same as everyone else. So I love fashion because for me, fashion is inclusion. It's just cute apart from like, looking like I'm being drowned in a jacket. Fashion definitely helps me. I'm not restricted. I can express my personality and stuff through my clothes. I look like I'm going to a funeral though, but I quite like it. I love wearing black. I can be like everyone else and I can stand out for being different in a good way. But it is really frustrating. Obviously nothing's made for me. I am lucky in the sense because I have my gran who orders all my clothes. Say hi gran. Hi. <laughs> for instance, I've bought this jacket. I'll take it straight to my grand's. She will pin it, she'll sew it, and then I'll just wear it. I feel quite self-conscious wearing certain items because I don't want to show my legs or I don't want to show my arms. And I'm just like, no, this is who I am. I need to accept fully that obviously it's never going to change. So just always adapt to myself. If I wanted to do something, I'd find my way of doing it. I drive with my hands, so I use hand controls. This here is a steering wheel. This is so sensitive, so it's like I have two hands on the wheel when I only have one. Down here, this is a push and pull control lever, and it gives me the same function as what pedals would be. The most common type of dwarfism is achondroplasia. It's quite a mouthful. Achondroplasia is basically short arms and short legs, and my torso is the same height as anyone else my age. So my arms, my reach is, that's as far as I can go up there, and that's as far as I can go up there. It affects one in 25,000 births. So there was no one in my family that had my condition. My dad's like six foot five, so he's really quite tall. And my mom's just an average height. So my house isn't adapted to my size. Even if it's like the workshop was this height, just that down there, that would make my life so much easier. So like things like that, I can't reach to get in. The world doesn't adapt to me. I have to adapt myself to the world. A lot of simple everyday tasks with me, it takes a couple of minutes. A lot of things aren't just simple, you know? Not supported anyway. I love shopping for clothes and going into all the stores, but I hate, hate, hate shoe shopping. It's the bane of my life because I'm a size one. I love to wear like the same shoes as my friends and I want it to look age appropriate because I'm 25, not five, but obviously they don't make them in my size. So I think with a lot when I was younger, I wasn't really that accepting of my body when I was with my friends and in my normal environment, I felt so normal. It was only until I stepped out the door and went into public places. I felt kind of like a freak in a sense. I'd been out on my own and someone shouted, oh my God, midget. Then it really hits me. Like, this is not fair. Why should every time I go out in public, why should I be the one to be stared at and pointed at when everyone else doesn't have that happen? No one chooses to be born with a disability or born different. Why am I experiencing this discrimination? Hello. So I decided to do another video. I definitely put a lot of my life out there and I started uh, YouTube. It was more about educating people and showing people that I do live just a normal life. And it's my birthday. Trying to show people they can relate to me a lot more than they think they can. Hi, Gran. <laughs> I'm blessed with my Gran. So, Gran, I just got a dress. My Gran alters all my clothes. I know, I need to stop spending money. My Gran is a self-taught seamstress. When I was born, she hit the jackpot. She's gonna have someone she has to alter for the rest of her life. We have to try it on, but I think because it's stretchy fabric, it's gonna pull it up so it maybe doesn't need the length. It's really good in that sense because a lot of the time I can buy things that are totally not gonna fit me at all. Gee whiz but I know that she'll take the sleeves in, take the waist in, take it up. So she'll make it like custom tailored to me. It is ready. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's the like, quickest one I've had to do. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, see, that was an easy one. <laughs> Thanks, Gran. Oh, that's okay. Much better. Yes. Have a lovely time. Thank Enjoy you. your evening. Bye, Gran. I've had my friends for years. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. And they've been through everything with me. It's always got my back. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 When I'm with my friends, I forget that I'm small. Yeah. We're literally the same as everyone else. Like, I just want to show people that they can do whatever they want to do, regardless of their disability. There's no ceiling above us. We can do whatever everyone else can do. It's been non-binary affect your life. It's a struggle. I've made millions eating crab online. I got very emotional about seeing the accessibility for the first time. I've been doing free haircuts for the homeless. What's the highest you've ever jumped from? 
you know how hard these are to get in adult size? <laughs> I couldn't hold a handbag. Why? What's stopping you? I'm in the bug business. I've made $30,000 selling feet pics. I'm less likely to get stopped and searched. I wish that I could feel that comfortability 